Like most of the world's airports, South Korea's normally packed Incheon Airport has sat mostly empty for months. But some airlines in Asia are trying to change that by offering flights that end up right where they began. It's the flight to nowhere. While it may sound like a gimmick, customers are actually buying tickets. This Taiwanese airline took passengers to South Korea's Jeju Island, circled a few times, and flew right back to Taiwan. In the air, passengers had a Korean language and culture lesson. Because I couldn't go abroad, my friend recommended this event. I found it on the internet. I felt it was very unique. I wanted to experience a flight to nowhere. The flights aren't cheap. Australia's Qantas airline charged almost $800 for an economy seat on a flight that offered views of attractions such as the Great Barrier Reef. The flight sold out in 10 minutes. In Japan, the flights don't even leave the ground. This entertainment company offers flights in a fake airport cabin. Passengers get meals and tour famous sites through virtual reality headsets. We've been like changing and trying to improve every day. So I hope it will last for a long time in the long run. The trend is a sign people are eager to be done with quarantine and other restrictions. But the problem is if you want to travel to other countries, you have to go through all the safety procedures. You have to have your COVID-19 tested, and you need to go through quarantines. And it's really not convenient for a lot of people just for traveling for now. While the flights to nowhere are providing a financial boost for travel companies, they're not really helping the broader tourist industry. Here in Seoul, many shopping districts that cater to foreigners are much less busy than pre-pandemic, with many shop owners waiting for a flow of tourist cash that may not come anytime soon. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Seoul.